Hey guys and gals, what's going on? This is your friend and host again, PCJ the Pop Culture Junkie. So this is still the same day as the video I just posted earlier. Uh, so today is Thursday, July 18th, 2019. And it is the official beginning of the San Diego Comic Con. And we've got all the events happening over there in San Diego. Well, unfortunately, don't have it in the budget to head out there yet. Hopefully one day I'll get to go to San Diego Comic Con and check out all the awesome events and Funko releases and toy releases and everything and see it all in person. That would be awesome and amazing. I hope one day I will get to do that. It'd be great if I could take my whole family along with my wife and our awesome new born child. Yes. Well, one thing we get to do is we get to experience the Funko release. And this morning I headed up to the mall and I got to check out uh, a few different stores just see what they had and as you saw on the previous video I was able to get to the Think Geek store as you can see here that's the uh, Think Geek logo there I was able to get up to that store and get in a good spot in line and go in and get a few of the pops that were part of the exclusive uh, San Diego Summer Convention ones which would you know they were released today and uh, they went online live last night uh, to where you could pre-order them or purchase them and the websites were crashing and uh, freezing of course because so many people were trying to purchase them online thankfully got to the store and was able to get some really awesome pops that I did not want to miss out on so I'm going to share with you now everything that we brought home from the mall this morning and here we go so got a bag with a few really awesome items and I'm happy to share them with y'all so let's slide this over so first of all I showed on Instagram the entire checklist of all the pops released for all the different stores. So there's pops for Hot Topic, Walmart, Target, uh, Lunchbox, Amazon, everything. Anywhere you can think of, Barnes & Noble, anywhere you can think of, they've got exclusive pops. And I was kind of wondering, like, what's going to be the one everyone's after? Not because I want to sell it or anything like that. It's just because... I'm just curious, like, what's the one that everyone's going to be like, you know what, this one is going to be a really hard to find one if you don't grab it. Well, when I got to the line at Think Geek, everyone around me is saying what they want, you know, the people that are working there asking people, hey, so what pop are you coming in here for? I can let you know if we have enough by the time you're in line, if you're still going to be able to get one or not. And thankfully, the reason they were doing that is because they made sure to limit one type of pop per person. And thank you to Think Geek Hopefully somebody from Think Geek is watching this and you can send it up the ladder because I want to give big shout outs to the stores at Think Geek for doing that because so many other stores you go to on these special event days and they'll say, okay, you can have up to five of the same pop per person. Well, if you have, let's say, 10 pops of different types and somebody's buying five of each one of them, that's like 50 pops. Wouldn't it be a little fishy why they're buying that many if they aren't <laughs> uh, keeping them? Obviously, they're flipping them. And that's the problem with, like, you know, Hot Topic and such is, uh, and I've shared with my uh, previous videos from last year, whenever we've gone up to the different stores and malls, and how we, I've gone in there and I've seen people with stacks of the same pop literally tell people to their face, you know, that also were like, hey, man, I came up here for that pop. Can I get one? And I don't know you're not keeping all of them. Oh, just go online and I'll and sell. I'll sell you one on eBay. It's going on eBay as soon as I get home. It's like, man, just come on. This is supposed to be something fun for everyone to enjoy. And yet you always have people that have to, you know, take the fun out of it. Well, the one pop everybody kept asking about uh, to make sure they had enough of. And this was the one I was on the fence of. But then I thought, you know what? I'm going to regret not getting it. So the first one that I picked up is the Batman DC. This is, you see here, the San Diego Comic-Con limited edition exclusive Batman 80 years. And it's the Chrome blue Batman Funko Pop. Awesome, right? Yes. I picked up a few of the other Batman Pops, uh, like the, uh, the 1989 Batman. And I believe we've got the, which one? I think there's, well, there's a Batman Forever coming out. There's a few other Batman figures that have come out uh, with the black box, which looks really awesome. I like the style of this. I wish more boxes would change it up, not just be the solid white ones. But this one, everyone was after in the stores, and I was like, I'm going regret to not, regret not getting this one. So I had to pick this one up. So I got the Batman Chrome one. Or actually, after I got the pops I wanted at the table, I went to look at their wall to see if there was anything else. And that's where I found this other pop I'm going to show you. 
But while I'm standing there holding the pops that I did get off the uh, Comic-Con table, I had a few people that were in the store that had come in behind me, and they're, they see the Batman pop that I'm holding. They're like, hey, man, do you really want that Batman pop? And I'm like, yeah, that's why I got it. And they're like, oh, man, I, I, they, they only let me you know buy one. I need another one. I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. That's one per person. That's all I can do. <laughs> and I need it, so I, I wanted to get one. So uh, when I went to the wall, though, uh, this is a new, newly released pop that I decided to get. Uh it is the Star Wars, which I don't buy a whole lot of Star Wars pops. I mean, I've gotten some, but I don't seek them out. One, because it's gotten to be really repetitive. They're, they're getting to be the same pop. They just put them in a different box sometimes. But this one really stood out. This is the... Yes, you can see already. If you know what I'm talking you know what it is. This is Boba Fett. It says on the front here, uh, Funko Insider Club. And it's the animated... Uh, Boba Fett from the Star Wars holiday special, the Christmas holiday special that everyone knows about. You can't really, you know, find it to buy anywhere because they never re released it anywhere. You can find it online. You can easily. I watched it on YouTube actually uh, during the holiday season uh, last year, and yeah, it's the <laughs> Boba Fett version of Boba Fett of uh, the holiday special one where he's blue, <laughs> like solid blue all over and yeah that's uh, pretty awesome looking I got another uh, couple of Boba Fett figures and thought why not I gotta add this to the collection so that one really stood out to me so I like I like that I found that one there and now they had two other pops that I was going up there for as I mentioned in the video first one was the office space uh, sticky note character and that's the character you see on the poster and cover box for the original office space movies but unfortunately they didn't have it yet. They said that it's going to be released at a later time, but they're going to put it up on the website today for pre-ordering so you can pre-order that one, which I plan to do because I really want that one. I'm not sure if it's going to be really hard to find or not, so I'm a little iffy if I need to even pre-order it, so we'll see. I don't really like buying things online. I like to buy it in the store, uh, but it is available online if you want to pre-order it yourself. That's the one I was mainly going up there for, uh, or that's the single pop I was going up there for. The other one I was going up there for was a two-pack for... The very first, first ever, we have other ones coming out later this year. Eee, I'm so happy about that. But for the first time ever, we have Simpsons Treehouse of Horror Funko Pop. That's right, Treehouse of Horror. I love the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. I hardly watched the Simpsons over the last 10 years, except for Treehouse of Horror. I never miss that. And we have, for the first time ever, Funko Pops based on Treehouse of Horror characters. And what better characters to start with than from the original first episode of Treehouse of Horrors, Kang and Kodos, the aliens that abduct the Simpsons, they uh, feed them, and they're going to take them to a planet where they're going to live in paradise, but the Simpsons think they're going to try to eat them and kill them. <laughs> uh, check these out. These look amazing. I love how they're so much larger than I expected. Uh, they're, ver they're very large pops. I was very surprised. I expected them to be similar to the size of a regular pop, but you can see the size difference clearly on these. Let's get you in a little closer so you can see. Now they do glow in the dark also, so that's even better. It's got the convention sticker there. Now let's turn it over here and you can see a little better detail. Kodos has a little ray gun in his hand. Got the drool coming out of both their mouths. Yes. And of course, King and Kodos, they've been in many episodes of Treehouse of Horror. Uh, there's the one where uh, it's the uh, election year <laughs> and they abduct Homer and they say, take us to your leader. He's like, oh, I guess you mean President Clinton. And, you know, they pretend to be Clinton and uh, Bob Dole. That's right. <laughs> and they try to run for president and then they, one of them just takes over the world anyways. <laughs> uh, and then there's the episode where Lisa, or I'm sorry, Maggie. Uh, Maggie is actually, is it Kang or Kodos? I don't remember. He's, uh, she's actually one of their daughters instead of Homer. <laughs> that They abducted Marge and implanted her with uh, Maggie. <laughs> so, yeah, we have... And that's actually one of the pops coming out later for the Treehouse of Horror ones that are coming out. I think they're going to be... Pro they're probably going to be out right around Halloween time, October time. Uh, there's five Halloween uh, Simpson Treehouse of Horror Funko Pops coming out. I can't wait. They're not all ones I would want from the Treehouse of Horror series, but I'm still happy, so uh, it just means we're going to hopefully get more next next year and next year, so. But that 
this was the king right here that I was looking for. This was the main event that I wanted to find. Uh, when I got there, as I said, uh, there was about 20-something people in, in line ahead of me. They had about 30 pops of each, uh, uh, 30 quantity of each of these. Um, when you watch the previous video, you can see which pops were actually more popular than the other ones. There's a whole side of the table that was full, and nobody was buying any of these pops. They had uh, a Captain Marvel figure, but it, was, it wasn't Captain Marvel. It was another per, uh, character from there. Uh, they had Johnny Rico from Starship Troopers. They had a Conan O'Brien pop, which mm, there was probably about 10 or so left, uh, or 15 or so left, something like that. And then they had a Rick and Morty exclusive uh, Glutie. Glody, I think that was the character. They had that one as well. Uh, but it didn't seem like anybody was really after those. But the Simpsons and the Batman one, that was the first two uh, that sold out right away that everybody was after. Uh, I did have the chance to get a second one of these. I thought about getting it um, just to have as maybe a giveaway for later in the year or something like that, part of my Halloween junkie contest and such. Unfortunately, when I got up there, the very last one that they had that I could get, because they said uh, they finished letting everyone in the store, and they said, okay, everyone's gotten what they wanted, so if you wanted uh, doubles of anything, come on up and you can get whatever. And there was one guy that ran ahead and he got like two extra Batman figures. Another person, uh, another two people got uh, the alien figures. And then I got up to the counter or to the table and I said, hey, do you have another alien one? I, I want to go ahead and get a second one. Uh, and uh, she did have one last one and she gave it to me. But then when I looked at the box, the box was all beat up up here. It had lots of crease and, and uh, just lots of it had really been banged up uh, in shipping, I guess. I don't think they did it necessarily. Like, I mean, even this one has a little dent right there. But I mean, I'm not selling this, so I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, they had uh, the last one, which was all beat up and banged up. So I was like, oh, well, you know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Cause someone else that's a out of box collector will get more joy out of this. Um, and you know, rather just have that, uh, be purchased by somebody else that's going to actually want it for themselves and whatnot. Even though I was going to use it for a contest and giveaway, uh, we've, we'll find some other stuff. Maybe I'll get some of the, uh, Trails of Horror ones and uh, do a giveaway or something. We'll see. I don't know. Don't, uh, don't want to mislead anyone on, on those, but you know, I'm going to do an awesome Halloween junkie contest every year. So, but there we go. That's my summer convention Funko pop haul. I got the three right here. I got the main one that I wanted right here. Got two extra ones that I'm really happy to get. And then the final one I want to get still is the, uh, office space, uh, sticky note character guy. And, uh, we'll see if I have to pre-order that one. I hope I can just go to the store whenever they get them and just, uh, find one there. All right. Well, let me know if you got to go out to any stores today and uh, found any Funko Pops or other collectibles that were released today uh, that you were looking for. Share with me in the comments. Let me know if you uh, got lucky and was able to find what you wanted. Well, guys and gals, thanks for watching as always. I will talk to you all later. This is your host and friend, PCJ, the Pop Culture Junkie, signing out.